Okay, um, let's go over this question here, number 19. Uh, M1 is 10 kilograms, M3 is 10 kilograms. The coefficient of friction for both blocks is mu equals 0.3, and the tension is 49 newtons. We don't know the mass of number 2. So this is a unique question. Okay, so let's uh, update that on the screen and get you working on it. So let's draw our free body diagrams. So for M1 up here we have T2 pulling it forward. We have the normal pulling it up, pushing it up, sorry. Force of gravity down. And we have a force of friction pulling it back. That's on M1. On M2, we have the normal. We have just T, the tension T, not T2. And we have two forces back. We have T2 and we have the force of friction on that. One more we have force of gravity pulling down. Last one is this dangling block. I drew the free body diagram vertical box here so that we were inspired just to go up and down. Tension is pulling up and the force of gravity is pulling down on it. Now generally as I've been doing in all the previous examples is to start with the system but I don't have the mass of the system. If I don't have the mass of the system, I can't calculate the acceleration of the system. I don't even have all the forces acting on the system. I have the force of friction here is mu mg. And so that force of friction is 0.3 times the mass, which is 10 kilograms, times gravitational field strength, 9.8. So this is going to be 0.3 times 10 times 9.8, 29.4. So that's only on M1. We don't have M2 out yet. And we don't have even have the, we can't calculate it. We don't have its mass, so we can't calculate the force of friction. And we don't, well, we do have T2. Oh, that's the big idea. We have T2. So just observe what we have in M1 here. We have T2, we're given that. We have the force of friction. We have the force of gravity. We have all the forces. If we have all the forces of an object, we can calculate its acceleration. So that's where the difference occurs is that I gave you a tension. That means Usually we had to calculate, but given that, we get more information about these systems on either side of that tension. So write, writing down Newton's second law, the sum of the forces is equal to F net, which equals MA. And the sum of the forces is T2 minus the frictional force. And that has to equal MA. So we have all these numbers, except for the acceleration. So T2 is 49 newtons minus the frictional force of 29.4 has to equal the mass 10 times 
Okay. So 49 minus 29.4 is 19.6. Divide that by 10, and we get our acceleration of the system. good. So we now have options. Just like what we had the options of any of the previous ones, which block do we want to start with? We can now start look at, looking at M2, we can look at M3, or we can look at the system. So let's look at M3. The sum of the forces is equal to F net equals MA. The forces are force of gravity minus the tension is equal to MA. Now we'll plug in some numbers. The force of gravity is 98 newtons because it's 9. We're doing M3 here, yeah? 10 times 9.8 equals 98 newtons. Minus the tension, which we don't know, is equal to the mass, 10 times the acceleration, which is 1.96 meters per second squared. So that gives us the tension is going to equal 98 newtons, subtract 19.6 newtons. And 98 subtract 19.6 is Now there's only one more thing to calculate. We calculate the acceleration and T. We can calculate the mass. We can use either the system or M2 to calculate that mass. Then we could use the other one to check it. So let's use M2 here. Let's calculate M M2. So Sum of the forces equals F net, which equals MA. The forces acting on it are T minus T2 minus the frictional force, which equals MA. And remember, the frictional force is equal to mu m g. So we're going to solve for m, and it's going to be in two locations. Hmm, maybe this is not the easiest place. If you know your algebra, we could do it because we'll have m's and we'll have to gather like turns. I'm going to come back to this one. I'm going to work on the system. I don't feel bad about working on this right now, but I don't want to confuse you. Some of you w might have an issue. Most of you shouldn't, though. I'll just take a look at the system. And the system is the sum of the forces is equal to F net equals MA. And the f sum of the system, the forces on the system, is the force of gravity of block number three 
minus the force of friction of block number two minus the force of friction of block number one is equal to the mass of the system times A. That's not going to be very good either because the force of friction on M2 we don't know yet and it's going to have an M in there as well. So either place I'm going to have to play with two M's. Okay? So let's go back. I feel more confident in this middle of the screen here with this M2. So T and T2 we have. T is 78.4 minus T2 which was given as 49 minus the force of friction. I'll just leave it as FF right now. is equal to the mass m times the acceleration which is 1.96 so 78.4 minus 49 is 29.4 so 29.4 is equal to the force of friction plus m times 1.96. We look like we might be at an impasse, but I know we aren't. Let me just expand that a little bit. So 29.4 and I'll put down the units this time, newtons, is equal to mu mg plus m times 1.98, 1.96, sorry. This is 29.4 newtons is equal to 0 0.3 times the mass times 9.8 plus m 1.96 just going to change the color here so it's not so impervious to look at 29.4 is equal to 0.3 times 9.8 is 2.94 so 0.3 times 9.8, 2.94, and I'll just change it, M, plus 1.96 M. So this is, go to green now, 29.4 is equal to 2.94 plus 1.96. They have a distributive law. Here we go. We'll go on here and well, this is going to be 4.9 M. 2.94 plus 1.96. So 29.4 four divided by four point nine is six. That's a lot of work. Okay, that's the very last one. It's a nice, tough, hard one. Shall we do the check? Well, why not? We'll throw it on over here. 
Before I do that, the force of friction on this guy is 0 0.3 times 6 times 9.8. So 0.3 times 6 times 9.8. The force of friction on this guy is 17.64. Okay, force of gravity on number three is 98 newtons. Force of friction on number two, that's what we just calculated, 17.64. Force of friction on number one is 29.4. That has to equal the mass of the system, which is... 26 kilograms times A. So let's see if that works out. 98 minus 17.64 minus 29.4 is that. Divide that by 26, and hopefully we get the same answer for the acceleration. So this is going to be 50.96 is equal to 26 times A. A is also 1.96 meters per second squared. Get this checked out. It was a lot of work. Yay.